Hey Solus, welcome to Agent Solo Run Throughs. Matt Rice here, running through a game of Distilled. And I've got the whole thing set up here for a solo game. Um, plenty on the table for it. It's not, I don't want to say it's a huge table hog, but it's got, you know, it's got some cards that take up some space here. Uh, we've got some like, spirit labels here, which we'll go through during the game, which will be fantastic. We've got uh, a market up here of uh, some distillery upgrades, ingredients, premium items. We've got some tokens over here, some coins, and um, some like uh, recipes that you learn. Through here, you've got some flavors as you age uh, spirits. Got some alcohol that we added, of course. Um, and we've got this main, like a basic market deck um, that you can choose two of each round. And then here is my board that we're gonna start with. And uh, this is the still where we, we're trying to um, run a distillery, I guess. It's, it's, I think the, the story behind it is that you've taken over an old family distillery and uh, you're trying to bring it back to glory, I guess, or something like that. <laughs> And you're making you're making spirits, you're selling them, you're trying to earn points, certain amount of points, especially in the solo game, certain amount of points to complete the solo goals, which I'll get to. Uh, this is a nice, lovely uh, Kickstarter first player token that came with me. Apparently that's, uh, I think that's, a, is that a Scottish term for, for good health, I think? I, I could be wrong, someone will probably will, uh, correct me very soon. Of course, I'm going to play as the Australian brothers here, uh, the Brown brothers from Asia, Asia Australia. They've got a special ability here and had some setup instructions for them. And a bit of a background, which is kind of cool. Um, and uh, so I start off with like $4. So I've got the $4 down here. Um, I've got a yeast, yeast here in the, the light zone. Yeah, and also I've got some uh, water that I added to it. Um, I've also got this flight card, they call it. Um, there's numerous in the core set, plus the expansion adds a few more as well. I think it goes down to L. There's an A side and a B side. And it adds more as well as you go. So this is, the A side is, these are the kind of spirits I can um, create in this game. And you always can make moonshine and vodka in every game. And you can always make your signature recipe, which I'll try and make during the game. Over here, we've got like our solo goal cards as we work our way up. So this is our aim in this game. Um, we work from the bottom to the top. And we aim for um, a goal. So I'm starting at the bottom here. This is like my aim to start with. And these have been shuffled up. There's different types of decks I've shuffled up and put out in this order. And this is the recommended, I think, normal setup. You can make it harder by switching out some of these Cs with Bs and things like that. Um, so, for example, one of my first aims here is to either distill my signature recipe and I'll get $3 as a reward. Or I can uh, collect spirit levels from two different regions. And the regions being like around the world regions. So if I pull this up, you know, so like if I make soju, for example, that's from the Asian region. Um, Kachacha, Kachaka, <laughs> never heard of that one. It's from the Americas. So if I make two different, if I distill from two different regions, um, I will satisfy that. Well, once I satisfy one, I'll be able to move up to the next row and reveal um, the cards above it. So if I do the right one, which I'm thinking I might try to do, or reveal the top, the next two up, and then I go from there. So it has to link up as you go through. Uh, the numbers on these is once you finish, all these numbers have to add up and be uh, equal to or less than your score at the end of the game. Because as you create, um, uh, for example, as you use certain cards, there's like scores on the bottom left here. Like this one's worth four points if I use this fruit sugar, which is not available to me yet, but it's my special fruit sugar that I can use in, in uh, my signature recipe. Um, but yeah, that's the aim of this, is to satisfy the solid goal card. So it's kind of somewhat beat your own score, but also like an aim to it. And I like that. It's a bit of both. I've got over here our, uh, this is like our point scoring board. So this is my token to indicate where we are on the points table. This is our round marker. And I think, yes, we do. We ignore this in solo mode. In, in, in multiplayer games, you'll get given three, um, like think of like wingspans. So I get three goal cards. Um, and by round three, you're allowed to discard one after round three and aim at two goal cards at the end of that to, to aim gain more points. But there's seven rounds that we've got to, to try and distill as much as we can. you got a nice reference card and also on the back of the rule book, tell you what um, each round you do. Um, so there's obviously you start, start a round effects, the first thing that happens. Then you have a market phase, distill phase, you sell your stuff, or you can age stuff that you make to try and get more points. And there's like an end of round cleanup as we go through. So we'll go through round by round. This will be the first round, so I might go a bit slower with this first round. 
But I look for any start of round um, effects that of things that I have, and none of the cards I have that I start with have any end of round effects, um, and nothing on my um, grandmother's card. If I didn't mention two, we start with two starting like a barrel, just in case you don't buy any new ones. There's a barrel here that I can use to to distill for free, and I get it back if I use it. And there's a glass bowl to to hold the stuff to sell in. You always get that, and of course in the in the market over here, these are the things that you can upgrade and buy as you go on. You can get better staff, you can get better ingredients, and you can be get better like barrels and bottles. Okay. So what I've done now, I'm about to start our market phase. So we take turns in clockwise order to purchase one card or cube per turn until all pass. Now in the solo game, you just keep taking turns. There's no AI. What happens at the end of it though, is that I will um, draw out of this deck now it won't be this one this time, but I'll draw a new card, reveal it, and it will discard the market in this sort of order. So I get to spend my money, buy as much as I can or what I want, and I have a limit of two basic market purchases per player per round as well. Okay. Alrighty, let's try that. So different ways I could go about this. The way I want to do this, I want to aim for something a bit better than Vodka and Moonshine to start with. Just feel like doing that. Um, I'm going to try and unlock the Chichachka. <laughs> I should look up how to pronounce that. But that's, I'm doing that because I want to distill from different regions here. This would be in America's region. And the Vodka and Moonshine count as, has like a little home on it, home symbol. That means it's distilling from your region. So I want to distill different regions here to get, to aim at uh, my, <laughs> just point this one out. This one here, because I'm aiming at this one, which will give me two points and put me up the, the track a bit as well. So I'm gonna spend two dollars. Put that in the trash there. I've got myself a bronze cube, meaning I've learned how to make uh, chachaka. Okay, now to make chachaka, I need at least uh, one sugar in the metal barrel, which I do have. It doesn't need to age either, which is fantastic. And I need some money on the table too. Okay. So I'm thinking I've got $2 left. I'm allowed to purchase two of these basic cards. I'm not really liking what's on the premium market at the moment. I can't really afford much anyway. So I'm gonna buy two of these plant sugars. To somewhat, hopefully, almost guarantee that I can make this. This will cost a dollar each. Okay, there's no other special ability on these. And um, so I'm gonna put these mixed plants um, for $2. Alrighty, and that's gonna go into my pantry down here. So it's gonna mix in with the water and the yeast that I've already got. You must have at least one water and one yeast and one sugar to be able to distill in this game. Um, that's all I can do. So we'll do a bit of a cleanup. Cleanup phase, what I do, I discard the top card of this and I remove cards in this fashion. So I've gotta remove top right two. So these two go to the truck. So essentially they're discard there, gone away. I'm then gonna move these two across. This is to simulate like a multiplayer game. People have bought these and three at the bottom. Okay, that is plenty. Right, we then shift these across so they're still available for the next round. And fill out the rest. Oops, some apples. Good sugars there. Bit some barrels coming out. Ooh, the pirate bottle. Interesting. To make something, you grab your pantry, you put what you want to do in your pantry, so I've got to have at least one yeast, so I'm going to put it at the top here, uh, one water, and at least one sugar here, I've got these two mixed plants um, that I'm going to put in here. You could put the plant symbols, you can put the grape symbols or the wheat symbols there as sugar. So I've got two of them there. Now for each sugar that's there, you add two alcohol cards. Now, these can possibly come back out of the system at the end, which I'll show you. Um, but these are going to be worth money for me at the moment. So these get chucked in as well. And you grab them all and shuffle them together. This is the somewhat interesting mechanic about this. When you shuffle. Yes, I will sleeve these cards eventually. So you shuffle them all together. And you remove the top and bottom. Okay, move this one because there's something. This is like in the pro distilling process that something's coming out of it. So I've lost a sugar. Ooh, I better not lose a second sugar. I lose an alcohol out of it, bugger, because that's worth a dollar to me. These go back to my pantry. So it's like I've got excess alcohol I can use again. I've got another sugar I can use again. And that's okay. 
then we turn over to see what we can make here. Okay, so I've got alcohol, I've got a plant sugar, I've got some water and some yeast in it. Okay, and then I can compare what I can make out of this. Alrighty, so I'll then check against my recipes against what I've distilled here, including a barrel that I can use. So I'm going to put the metal barrel in this, that's the only barrel I've got, the starting barrel. And I'll check what I've covered here. Now I'm aiming to make this kachatka. Um, I could also make the vodka here based on what I've got. Because I've got uh, I've got some I've got a plant sugar, which covers both the kachaka and vodka. Um, water doesn't matter, yeast doesn't matter for this stage. So it's only just the plant sugar. I've got I could I could do the kachaka. I've also got a metal barrel to put in, because that symbol there presents metal barrel, and it doesn't need to be aged. We're not allowed to age it. So I'm gonna to have to sell this this round. And aging I'm off to show you in a future round. So to sell this. I add a bottle that I've got, which is of only the glass bottle. And um, you know, I add up all the money and points that this is worth. So at the moment, money-wise, I'm gonna get one, two, three, four dollars for this. So I've got four coins. One, two, three, four. So I put that in my pile. Um, I then also collect any points. Now some of these cards in the future could have points at the bottom. Um, and I've got none on these at the moment, so I don't get any spirit points. However, I do get four spirit points for making it from here. That's going to be on this board. But I'm going to go up to four spirit points. Now, another thing in this phase, if you didn't sell, if you didn't sell any, um, if you didn't sell any uh, bottles or anything, um, you could hold a tasting and you can spend your spirit points to gain money. Um, yeah, but you can do that kind of thing. Uh, now what happens with these? These get returned to my board. So these return to my storeroom because they're the starting ones, you get to keep those. And what happens with these is these go back into their relevant piles in the basic market. So this alcohol just gets back on top. Sugar back there, water back there, yeast back there. There's also an aging phase here, but I had nothing in the warehouse. So the warehouse is at the bottom here. I could have, from previous rounds, aged something, nothing in there. Um, and then, I check if I've achieved either of these two goals. Um, I haven't distilled my signature recipe and I haven't collected spirits from two different regions. Now, since I've sold, um, made that, distilled that spirit, I better go get its label. So, when I've distilled this, I gr better grab this label and I can put it, this is like a little place and thing, I can put it anywhere on um, this row here. And this indicates like any bonuses I could get. So I could put it here to get $5 or two points. I could put it here to get my signature ingredient, which I need to make the signature recipe, or get two points. Discard a card from the pantry, take any one card from the truck, so that pulls one back out that I might have missed. And that's kind of handy. So these are like one-off of beers. Once I put it there, for example, I can't do it again. Um, I can get a free ingredient, I get a free recipe, which will be handy in the future, a free item and a free upgrade. Okay, so I better think about what I want here. So I'm going to put this one here, Kachuk here to get one free upgrade. And I'm going to grab from the market this card, the worm tub. And it says during the distill phase, I may add two additional alcohol um, cards to it, which basically means I get two extra dollars. And uh, that would be fantastic. I can place it anywhere here. I might put it here since we've got a bit of bad glare at the moment. I might try and fix that. But yeah, that's pretty much the end of that round. So I've got a spirit label. Um, I've chosen this, I've distilled something, I've got a couple of still things in my pantry. Okay, and that's it for the first round. Oh, I'd better fix up the market. I'm going to add this, this coffee still, um, to the market as well, where I replace the worm tub. Um, before I move on to round two here, which I might see if I'm there, that's just one round down, guys. So, as I normally say in my videos, if you're happy just seeing one round, That'll be it for the first round. If you want to keep watching, guys, I will keep playing through and see how it goes, see if I can claim these solo goal cards. All right, one thing I forgot to do last round um, is the special ability on the Brown Brothers card. Um, and also, side, another side note is there's many of these old There's about 18, I think. Um, and I haven't even shuffled in any of the expansion yet into this either. Um, during the sell phase, gain two spirit points when selling a spirit from a region you have no other spirit levels from. And this is the spirit level I just grabbed. 
Okay, and that's the first time I've grabbed one from the Americas. So I should grab myself two extra points. So I'm actually on six at the moment. Heading into round two. And uh, start of round effects. I have none. So we then move into market phase. All right, let's do that. First up here is I'm gonna grab a yeast because I don't have a yeast or water in my uh, pantry yet. In my pantry, as a reminder, I've got a plant sugar, mixed plants, and I've got alcohol, which could replace, it can be used as either water or yeast in your wash back. So I'm gonna buy yeast. Um, it costs zero, and when I purchase it, I gain a dollar, which is absolutely fantastic. So I'm gonna grab myself one dollar. That gives me some five here, put that in my pantry. The reason why I'm doing that is with my five dollars now, I've got it right in my hand. I wanna buy this orchard. Now it's an equipment. Ah, give me that. <laughs> Cost me five. At the start of every round, I get a basic fruit card in my picture, which will be very handy for my signature ability. But that's all my money. But that's okay. And that will go in my distillery next to my worm tub. These move down, I replace it with one more. And it's a co-op manager. I'd add one, any one basic grid to a pantry, which could be kind of handy actually. Maybe I'll grab a second yeast. And I just hope I don't lose my, <laughs> my sugars that I've got. I just found out it's pronounced Kashasa. So there we go. <laughs> now, in my pantry here, I'm gonna go to the distilling phase now. I bought my limit of two basic cards. Um, I might as well keep one of these yeast. I don't need to use two. Um, I'm gonna put a yeast in here. Only because it doesn't get me any money or anything. I'm gonna to have to put my plant sugar here. My alcohol will replace my water here. Now, obviously I'll grab an alcohol for one sugar. It goes there. Now, I've got a couple of things. Uh, I've got one thing here. The worm tub, during the distill phase, may add two additional alcohol. I'm definitely gonna do that. Because that will give me two extra dollars. Okay, let's see how this goes. So what I'm doing here, I'm aiming to make vodka. Because it's it's got that home symbol. It might be hard to tell in the video. Um, the home symbol means it's my home, which is the Asian region. Um, I don't want to make another um, Kashasa because the solid gold card I want to cover is the one where it's two different regions. Flex Spirit Lives from two different regions. So, now assuming the vodka and moonshine counts as a different as your home one. So I'll take it anyway. I remove one from the top, so I lose an alcohol. Lose one from the bottom. Oh, there's the sugars. All right, so what happens if all you got is alcohol and yeast? <laughs> Um, well, that's gonna be the moonshine. Now, the moonshine um, doesn't require any sugars. It needs a steel barrel still, which I've got. And I'm gonna, it doesn't need to age, so I'm gonna bottle it straight away. And it gives me $2, but only one point. So it's pretty basic, but that's okay. Let's see what we get here. So we get one, two, three dollars in the cell phase for five dollars. So I'm grabbing myself a fiver. Put that in my pile. Okay. Now the bottle and the barrel come back in. Uh, these used ones will go back to their relevant piles. Beautiful. And I'll grab myself a, uh, what did I make? I made a moonshine, didn't I? So moonshine. Oh, just grab the label right now. So there's my moonshine label. So that's the home symbol that I get. Um, so I didn't really score um, much in the points department, but I'll do that at the moment. Uh, general moonshine, so I've got to place that on one of my tabs here. Oh, I might finally get my signature ingredient to the pantry. Because I want to make that next round. So that gives me, <laughs> yoink. That gives me my common juniper berries. Okay, which would be worth a lot of points when I eventually use it. So that's going to go to my pantry. That's beautiful. I should actually grab myself another two dollars because I didn't grab the two of here as well. So I'm actually on seven dollars, which means I'm somewhat rich for next round. And then spirit points wise, I get one for the moonshine plus. Um, during the selfless gain two when selling a spirit from a region you have no other spirit levels from. So that's the first time I'm sold from the Asia market. So I want to get three points. Let's push me up to nine. Don't have to do a tasting because I sold something. That's excellent. I've now covered, uh, collect labels from two different regions. So what you do is just put a coin on that 
and then you reveal the two cards above. This one and this one. Yeah, kind of limited here because I'm aiming for this because I've got two equipment so far. So I've got to earn $8 or more on a round, which might not be easy. Um, it's possible, but definitely not easy. Because <laughs> um, I'm going to head, I want to head this way. So I'm now up to this row. Um, I mean, if I do sell a spirit containing two or more water, two water or more, um, and also gain myself two more points from doing that, by the way. So I'm going to move up to 11 here. Okay. Yeah. All right, but that's what I'm aiming for next round. So I'm up to round uh, three. Yeah, there's nothing to age or anything, so I'm up to round three. All right. Next, I have to discard cards based on um, my next B card. So I draw it out, and I'm discarding these ones. So all the three from the right row. Move across. The architect was eyeing off too, unfortunately. Uh, top left. It's gone. Ah, oh, damn it, those grapes. I was eyeing off those grapes as well. Gone. And this one down here is gone. And then we slide across. Two more come out. More bottles, excellent. Apples go down. Some figs, hmm, interesting. And these two go down. Okay. All right. Now, what, what have we got here? I just want to read this if you can't see it. During the surprise game, one point when selling a spirit, if you already have a spirit level from the same region. Hmm. Interesting. It's kind of going against what <laughs> my brown brother guy did. Glassworks. One spirit market phase may discount one bottle by two. Cool. All right. Now, heading into round three, um, the style of the round, I get to add a basic uh, fruit card to my pantry. So the basic fruit card, imagine that means it's free. So my mixed fruits come in, I'll need that. Because if I want to make my signature dish, my <laughs> signature, signature uh, recipe here, I need three, at least three fruit in there, which must include juniper berries, which is my signature. But it'll get me a lot of points. Extra dollar as well. And um, it's unlocked, so I'm able to do this. All right. Okay, now we're into market phase. I'm gonna do something risky here. Something out of the ordinary. I just wanna get as much fruit as I can. I know I want another equipment card, but I think there might be a chance that one of them will stay around, surely. So I'm gonna spend $5 I've got to get some figs. Why not put some figs in my, in my gin that I'm gonna make? So that goes in my pantry. Slide this down. Okay, and then I'm gonna buy uh, some mixed uh, mixed fruits for two. That's my last two dollars. Oh my god. I can get one more basic, a free one if I wanted to. I could get some mixed grains. Um, but I'm eyeing off things like gin or brandy from now on just to get as much figs as possible. Uh, fruit as possible. Um, so maybe I just get myself a dollar or maybe a water or a yeast. Um, I might just get a yeast. Put that in, that gives me a dollar. Okay, so down one buck. Whew. So to make my uh, Oceana Strength Gin, I need at least three fruit in there, which must include my um, juniper berries that I make. So see how we go here, this could be really dangerous. I wanna give it a go, I wanna try it. So let's put a yeast up here, we have to have one. Um, let's put our jun common juniper berries there. Um, let's put our figs in it, why not? Let's put some fruit sugar in it. Do I dare put a fourth one in? Just in case I lose one. I mean, this alcohol has to be more water. It's gonna be quite alcoholic. Definitely won't use this because it's gonna ruin the recipe. It doesn't want plant sugar. I don't need to put another yeast in. It's just whether I put another one in just in case I lose one. That's a big risk. I'm gonna get a lot of alcohol cards in there. Let's put it in just in case. I want to make it, so that's four. And then I'm going to add four alcohol cards. One, two, three, four alcohol. Plus two for my worm tub. So I just want to make so much alcohol. It's going to be ridiculously high strength. One, two, three, four, five, six alcohol. Plus the one for the water. All right, let's distill. 
All right, here we go. So I've shuffled up. Gonna lose an alcohol. I don't mind that so much. Back to the pantry and another alcohol. So I lost $2, but in here should be the recipe. I should have one, two, three. Well, I've actually got four fruits in there, which is fine because it says three plus. Beautiful. So I have made my signature recipe. I'm just hoping um, that I can earn $8 from it. So let's add the barrel on the bottle. So this, let's take it out of here, requires the steel barrel, doesn't need to age at all. Okay, this is gonna get me a lot of points when I make this too, which would be fantastic. So first of all, money I collect, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, eleven dollars for making that plus on here, gives me an extra one, that's 12. Beautiful. So let's grab a 10. Oh, I'm probably right in the way of you guys. I should put this in the other side, shouldn't I? Okay, there's 12. Excellent. I'm getting rich. It's $13 a note. Now let's check for points. So, first of all, the recipe itself gives me 10 points. That is lovely. So 10 so far, plus, so these can go back, the starting ones go back in here, plus 10, 14, 17 points. That's a big one there. So I'm going up from 11 to 28 points. Beautiful. Um, the location is my home location, so I don't um, enact this at all. Um, but I get to make my label, which I assume is this. <laughs> so I take it away now. I can't make it again. You can only make it once. Um, and where am I going to put this? Let's have a think. So, move that. These right three. Go on. I think that always happens. These right three always go. Uh, what else do I lose? That top right one, which is. Yeah, I was on another one, but it's okay. Um, and then bottom left two down here, got the bottle, this here. Shuffle things across, new things come out. So what we get at the top. This guy gives me a dollar each round. Uh, what's this one, specialist? Drinking cell phones, add $2 to the cell phone of each spirit you sell. Very nice. A bit of anise. And turbo yeast, get an additional Alcohol out of it. Down here we get a barrel, which I'm after, I think. Mm -hmm. And a frosted glass bottle. Okay. Um, I don't think I'm going to take this. I'm going to take the free recipe. It looks like you can take any recipe. So clearly I'm going to take the gold one here. I want to try and aim for some brandy. It's uh, European. It needs to be aged. I think it's time to do that. Um, but in this round here, yeah. Um, and also, I need uh, some fruit in the next round. It's worth 13 points if I make it, which would be fantastic. Um, next up here, I just realized I've got to take some things back as well. So, things I just made, I've got to take some alcohol back. Yeast goes back, some more alcohol goes back. These mixed fruits go here. This goes out of the game now. I'm just going to put it to the side. Can't make that again. Figs go in a truck, mixed fruits go over here, and this just goes in the right truck spot. Okay. Down here I earned more than $8 in that round, so I get a point. So I go up to 29. Um, then put a coin on that. Alrighty, then we're up to here. Yeah, my aim here is to probably either sell six alcohol or more, or click three equipment cards, which is quite possible. All right, you're up to round four. Okay, we're getting there. Round four, first of all, start of round things. I've got this, I get to add a basic fruit to my pantry. So I'm grab that, put it back in there. Then we start the market phase again. All right, take a small risk here, I think. Um, maybe. <laughs> Spend five, get some of five back. I'm gonna grab this barrel, because I'm thinking of making brandy. Um, and this would be handy because I need a I need a barrel for that. So it's going to go into my storeroom. 
put this across. Okay, pick bottle. Um, okay. It's worth a lot that one, isn't it? Um, I've got $8. Um, definitely want to grab basic sugar. Yeah, let's grab another basic sugar here for two. That's one of my basics. Okay. Um, we've got six dollars left. Hmm. The question is, do I go for the glassworks now? Or do I wait for the next round? I mean, it's going to definitely go. I might get the apples. I might do that quick thing. I've only got four rounds left. I might have to do three in a row here in a tick. That's the risk I'm going to take. Five dollars to get the apples. Um, and I'll get one dollar back. So I have two dollars. Okay, that gets shuffled down. Okay. Alrighty. Um, and I could grab one more. I might just grab yeast to get another dollar. Okay. And I could grab another mixed fruits there, but I'm gonna risk it here. I mean, I've got three fruits now, should be fine, surely. Okay, ready, let's distill what do I want in this. So I want some yeast. Let's put some greens in, let's put some apples in that. Um, let's put, yeah, let's put three in. Three fruits, alcohol's gonna go here. Um, I could drop another alcohol in there. Um, I might do that, because I might do that as two waters. Keep the yeast, keep the mixed plants, I don't want to use that. I'm trying to make brandy, I need at least two fruits. I've got three in, hopefully I don't lose two. I'm gonna barrel it up and stuff as well. Alrighty. So I've got three sugars, that's gonna be three more alcohol. Plus the worm tub that I've still got. Gives me two more alcohol. Into there, and then let's try and distill this a bit. Okay, let's see what I distill out here. <gasps> There goes one of my fruits. I hope I don't lose the other fruit. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, what is this going to be? Some kind of dud. Oh, that's horrible. At least it's worth a lot, but. Oh wow. So it's got, I've got one fruit and a whole bunch of nothing else. So let's check the flight here. So I can make vodka. That could be handy. I think that might be my backup here. Nothing else is one fruit on the flight. I need at least two fruits. So unfortunately, I've made vodka after all that. I mean, I'll save that barrel for next time, I guess. That's unfortunate. So I've made vodka, so I better put it in the steel barrel and vodka has to be sold straight away. So I'm gonna grab the bottle. Oh, that's really unfortunate. That's okay. Um, so I've made, what was that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine dollars off that. Plus, vodka, you get an extra dollar, so that's ten dollars. So I'm just gonna grab a ten. From over there, get ten bucks. Um, it's ten bucks, and then spirit points wise, I get two points for making it. Plus nothing else. <laughs> and the label, it's your home label, so I don't get any bonuses on that either. Oh dear. So I only make two points, but I made a lot of money. It's just not too prestigious, I guess. But I made some money for it, easy to sell. Alrighty, next step, we've got to pull all this back. So barrel and the starting barrel and bottle go back into my storeroom with my barrel I didn't get used. Mixed fruits go back to the top here. All these alcohols go back. The yeast goes back here. Unfortunately, I haven't ticked off anything here, so a bit worried about that. Um, but I've got somewhere to put this vodka label. This is a different label. I think this vodka will go here. I'm going to discard a card from the pantry and take any one card from the truck. That's a very powerful one. I'm going to get rid of this plant sugar because I'm not really planning to use it, I don't think. Um, put it over, over there. And then from, what that means is I have uh, covered this clip through equipment to silver upgrades. Now that means it's going to add 14, as in I need at least 14 to my score at this um, by the end of the game. So which path do I choose? If I choose this one, I mean, it's gonna be 84 all up I need, and I'm on 31, but, so that's gonna be tough. Anyway, open these. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. Alrighty, let's move on to round five, third last round. Um, and then we do our start of round things. I'm gonna add a basic mixed fruits to my pantry, which is always very handy. Okay, join the market face here. So I'm going to uh, maybe grab some water. When purchased, you may reveal the top card of any market deck to all players. Purchase it or return to the bottom of the deck. So that's for free. And I'm gonna just get the top card deck of the ingredients just to see what it is. <gasps> Grapes. Yes, I wanna buy that. So, ten dollars. Get four back. Oh my god. <laughs> Face is in the way here, so I'm getting four dollars back. I'll get some grapes in my pantry. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. <laughs> so four. To grab that, it's for sell a European thing. It's worth more. Put that in my store room. I suppose I'll buy some more mixed fruits for two. I think that's all I can do. Yep. Okay. All right, this time I won't forget the market cleanup. So, put this right. And then we got bottom, top, left. Slide across. Got a specialist. Drone camera. Yeah, okay. Some sugar cane. An ingredient. Agave. Carton bottle. <laughs> it's like milk. Scandinavian bottle. Okay. I'm gonna try again here at Brandy. So I need at least two fruits. So I've got water, I've got my yeast. Yeah, I've got so many fruits here. Like this, <laughs> do I chuck four in this time? I think so, let's chuck four. Could be a waste, but here we go. Um, two, uh, so it's at four alcohol, plus the two extra from my worm tubs. It's gonna be six alcohol. One, two, three, four, five, six. Chucked in there. Alrighty, let's do the distill. Let's shuffle up. Okay, losing alcohol. And I'll use the yeast. Excellent. So I've got, uh, what's that? One, two, three, four fruits. Lovely, bit of water in there. And I'm gonna age that. So I'm not gonna sell it. What's gonna happen is I'm gonna put it, the barrel on it and Put the label on it because I know it's going to be brandy. Lovely, lovely brandy. And we also add a flavor card to the bottom. So these flavor cards, you don't look at them. Some of these can add things to it, some of these don't. Put it to the bottom. Yeah. Um, other things with this, it says here, this Doig Ventilator. At the end of the distill phase, draw two flavor cards, add one to the spirit you just distilled. So I did just distill this, I'm gonna add, so draw two flavors. I sure that means I get to look at them. So I can add honey to it, which is worth $2 at the end. Or I can add ginger. Ooh, a bit of a spicy brandy. Ooh, let's make it spicy, yeah. So I assume uh, this gets the scar of the honey. Ginger's just gonna go to the bottom. So the more flavor, the more it's worth as well. Okay. All right, that's that. And the, that's called like the age phase. And bottom here, you place spirits after to take a while and add a flavor card. Doesn't say how long you have to do it for, you can put it in there as long as you want. Okay, but selling wise, I can't sell anything because I've got nothing to sell. So I didn't sell anything this phase. So I didn't technically sell anything. What I can do, I can sell some of my spirit points for money. So I'm thinking of my, you can sell up to four. I want to sell four. Big risk here to get $4, because I've only got $1 at the moment. Actually, maybe just, I know there's rice out there, maybe. Maybe just $3, so I go up to 28. That gives me $4 in my, in 
total. Gives me something for next round to do for what I'm chasing. Okay. So I didn't cover any goals here. Um, oh, I'm actually up to this round here. Um, so I've got two rounds left to do two more things. Oh, it's a bit of a rush here. I'm aiming at 84, which I'm really far off from at the moment. Let's see how we go here. Maybe I'm not the best distiller. Start of the round, I get a free fruit. Add that to my pantry. Okay. Now let's start thinking about how I'm going to distill stuff. I want to get different labels. And it says I need a silver bronze or silver spirit. I'm reading off this. This is what I want to cover. Sell a bronze or silver tear spirit from your distills region with at least three more than the recipe's base. Okay, that's going to be tough. I get two from the Brown Brothers. I just need one in here somewhere. It might be really tough to do that. Hmm. Otherwise, if I do the soju, that's a second bronze tear spirit label, which is the other solo goal. So I can cover either. If I buy for two dollars the soju recipe, so I'm gonna do that. That means I just need two uh, grains and then to put it in a barrel uh, to make this work. I'm gonna grab two of these basic mixed grains. It's the most I can get from. So I'm gonna try and make soju here. That's gonna be interesting. So let's chuck those two in here. Let's chuck the rice in. No, <laughs> no fruits. Yeast goes here, alcohol goes here as water. Um, we've got three sugars here, so three alcohol, plus the two from a worm tub. Goes in here. And let's try and distill this. This is crucial here. <laughs> plus an alcohol. I think we're good. And a yeast. Yes, I think we've made it. Let's do one, two, three grains. So Julian only needs two grains, if you can see from over there. So I'm going to put the metal barrel on it. And I'm going to save that bottle for my brandy here in a moment. Um, so I'm going to sell that too very soon, but let's just make basic money off this one. So I'm going to grab the soju label. I'll put that up there somewhere in a moment. How much money do we get here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven money. So I'll grab that. So two things here, we're big last round. Oops, apologies. Got a big last round here in a moment. Uh, they go back in here. Um, any points from this? I get a point there. And soju is worth five points. Um, it's still my same ridges that I get that, so I get six points from that. That goes up to 34. Okay, beautiful. And this all goes back to relevant spots. I trust you know what I'm doing with that. In the background here. Okay. Now, I've got a decision here. Do I keep aging this brandy? Because I could sell it in the last round. Knowing that I don't have to sell this, I could age it another, another flavor to get even more points. I think I might do that. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking we age it one more time. Um, oh, I also forgot to put a flavor to what I just sold with my dog. You just to still, yeah. So this should have been added. Um, I would have added um, the bread. Let's add the bread. <laughs> so we've got an extra dollar out of all that. So do you need a dollar? Okay. Alrighty, yeah, I'm gonna age that again. So I'm gonna grab a flavor, put it at the bottom, and sell it next round, because there's one more round to go. Um, let's put the label. Do I want to free? I'm gonna make in this last round. I've got one, two, three, four, five. That will be my six different labels. So I think we've got this covered this game. Let's just try and finish it off. Maybe I just get some more money or points. I think it's all about getting points here, isn't it? I really do need points. <laughs> I 
I'll go get a free ingredient. Um, but that won't really help me, depending on what I want to make. I could try to make brandy again. But there's no, there's no fruits out there. One free item. I'll put it in a different barrel. Maybe I'll do that. Looks like that additional, additional flavor, which I think gives me two points anyway. But at least it's a barrel I can use. Yeah, I'll get the free barrel. Free item. I'll get the hog's head. Seven bits for free. So you can age in the last round, you just don't get certain things. I just need to double check. I've now collected two bronze tier labels. And I have to get this six different spirit labels, which I've already got. Uh, one, two, three. Oh, actually, I technically don't because I haven't sold the brandy yet. So I think we still haven't finished it off yet. The main worry is I've got to get 84 points. And I'm on 34, so I don't think I'm going to get anywhere near there. This is tough. Tough stuff. Um, I should get an extra two points for here, actually. So I'm going to go up to 36. Uh, based on doing that. Yeah, right. Very tough. Here we go, boys. Last round. I'm sure I'll probably miss things as <laughs> I've gone through. Um, I get the free fruit added. And we go to market phase. Um, not much I can really do here, really. Um, I, could, yeah, let's, I guess I get a water for free. I'm going to reveal the top ingredient, I guess. Yes, yeah, that. Uh, and no, I don't want to buy that. It's going to go to the bottom of the deck if I want to buy it. I was hoping for like another fruit with worth points or something. Um, and then I'm just going to spend two to get one more fruit, I think. And hopefully I can distill here a bit of brandy. Technically, I better remove these as well. That's the last round, but I can't really do much. But just in case I'm not able to buy things. And that, and that, and that. Uh, and then diagonal pattern. Okay, shift, shift. There's a new one, just so you can see. I don't think I'll be able to buy any of these anymore, but just so you can see what's going on. Mm, there's some fruit that I needed for extra points. Oh, wow. <laughs> the fruit right there. No. Ooh, jug. <laughs> I don't have too many bottles. You can get points for bottles at the game. I've only got like one. Okay, let's distill. So I'm going to try and make brandy here. Uh, there's a water. Um, maybe use that as yeast. Yeah, why not? So that yeast stays here. Let's chuck all the sugars in. Why not? That's four. Let's put four more alcohol in. One, two, three, four, plus the two from a worm tub. Beautiful. I'm going to shuffle this up. Reveal. Alcohol's lost. And I lost another alcohol. Good. So I should have one, two, three, or four fruits in that. Beautiful. I'm going to try and age that. Actually, I get to add a flavor based on my Doig ventilator. Coriander or cinnamon. Hmm. Let's go cinnamon. That's going to go into it as well. Now yeah, I'm, I'm allowed to age this, but I can't sell it at the end of the game, but I can use it for points at the end of the game. There's a special way to calculate it in the game, but looks and things. Um, I'm gonna get another brandy label. Um, and then when I put it in, I get to add another flavor card to the bottom. It's gonna go in next to there, you'll let it put two in. I'm then going to try and sell this. Now this doesn't, um, technically the sell phase is before the age phase, so it won't get another flavor card. But um, what we do now is we sell this. So I get the brandy. And what is it? It's a cherry ginger fishy. <laughs> cherry ginger fishy brandy. Sounds fantastic. <laughs> so it's going to get me two, four, five. Sorry, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
10, 13, 14, 15 dollars. That's a lot of dollars. 15 dollars. Or 15 currency, whatever it is. And then points wise, uh, this is the first European thing I've made by looks of things. So I'm going to get two points from the Brown Brothers. Um, that's two, three. Um, also get when you sell from the warehouse. Um, I had three flavor cards. Three flavor cards is worth six more points. So this is going to be worth heaps here in a moment. So I get two, so two from Brown Brothers, six for the flavor cards, so that's eight. 13 from the brand itself, that's 21. 22, 24, 28, 28 points. Oh, mama. That's how you try and catch up. So 28 points here. So 36 plus 28 is going to be 64. So I'm actually going to be on 14 up here. Now I need a, there is a special tile for this. Right in here. So just put, oops, sorry, and just put that on top. So it's 50 plus that. Okay, beautiful. Still don't think it's gonna be enough though. You know, all this stuff gets discarded back. I forgot to bottle them, yes. So that was gonna give me an extra $2. Mm -hmm. The only bottle that I've got. <laughs> Uh, when selling, gain two more points. If it's a European, which it was, because it's brandy, um, get another four points. So it's six points. I get to keep that bottle. That's another six points. So let's go up to, that's at 70. Oh, I'm so close. I need 14 more points. I think I'm going to be just short. Okay. Next, we put the brandy out. Um, where should I put this? I might just get the two points up here. I just want to keep getting some points. So that would be 72. Up here, we're getting there. 12 off, we might just make it. So I can put that on there now because I've got six different labels. One, two, three, four, five, six. Beautiful. So I've covered that. I've just got to get the 84 points at the end of this game. So I'm end of round scoring here, or end of game scoring. I've got to count the spirit points on ingredient cards, the barrel and recipe in the, for the spirits still in the warehouse, which I do have one plus one per flavor card. I'm not selling, so I don't get the bonuses from the selling. So points within it, plus one. And I get the points for the recipe, good, because that's worth heaps. I think I might have this. Plus one per flavor card. So, if we go down a bit here. So brandy, first of all, the brandy is worth 13 points. So I'm gonna go up to the 35, so it's 85. I think I've got it covered now. That's beautiful. I guess I get to claim this. I'm not sure. Um, it doesn't say, does it? I'm just gonna say yes, put that there and get two points. Um, please tell me if that's wrong. Two points there. Plus I've got to add the points here. So one per flavor card plus points on cards. So just, just so you know, the flavors were, what have we got here? Soy cinnamon. Ooh, it's interesting for brandy. <laughs> That's two points. Uh, three for this. Yeah, just three more points. Um, it's different. It's still the same region that we used before. So it's got to 40, so that's 90 points. What else do we collect at the end of the game here? Bottle collection. If I have two balls, two points, three, four, no, nah, I've got no any, I've got, I've got no points for that. Um, distillery upgrades and the money. Distillery upgrades, I've got, uh, uh, what's this one say here? Uh, one for every two of your Europe spirit labels. Uh, I've got one, two, two, two Europe, so I get one point there. So I go up to 91. Um, what else do we got? <laughs> um, this one here just gives me one point. So go up to 92. And um, I think that's it. We don't have distillery goals. Oh, yeah, money. So get for every five, round it down. So I've got 20 there. 
So that's five, four lots of five, so that's another four points. So I go up to 46, so 96. 96 points. I needed to cover uh, 14 plus 24, 84 points. Got it. Woohoo! I'm a master distiller. <laughs> I've kept the distillery alive in Australia with the Brown Brothers. So there you have it, guys. That's distilled. Hope you've enjoyed Solace, and remember Solace to crush your gaming first. Thanks a lot.